I came up with a way to add nose pieces, wire nose pieces. Can't really see that, I'll show you in a minute. Um, in fact, this one doesn't have one and I wish it did. Uh, they're re re changeable. So I make a little pocket and Selena has the directions. You can order them from her somehow. I gotta get them up on Instructables. So I make some little marks I'm gonna sew down, make a stop, down, stop the, stop the thread, make a little pocket, and then do another stop so there'll be a, a two places to keep the wire in, and then top stitching this all at the same time. So I'll make sure it's set on the right setting, okay. So I'm just top stitching. I have to keep my hand out of your way to top stitching until I get to my mark. There's another way to do this that might be even simpler, but this is what I've been doing, so that's what I'll keep doing, because I'm pretty fast at it now. Whoops, don't slip. Okay, there's my two marks. I'm going to stop here. And if you had one that's already done, you could just cut a little hole, I think retrofit it. So, let's see if you can see this. There's a little hole here where it's not sewed. you can get the wire in right there. And it's gonna stop right there. So let's see, guess I could just keep going here. So I cut four inch pieces of, this is 18 gauge metal, you're supposed to use 16, but I couldn't find it in town yet. Um, so a four inch piece of metal, I happen to be a jewelry person too. It helps to have lots of gizmos. I just bent it backwards. I made little loops because it doesn't really fold over flat. Can you see that? Which way is better? Probably. And then you want them both to be in the same direction because this stuff doesn't twist very well. So you want to go the same. I have this written down too on a paper. So I make my little jewelry kind of guy here with like loops on each end. And then I folded it into a kind of a nose piece with these flat, so they're flat against your face. And where's my hole? Here we go. And then they just go in the hole really fast, simple. And you have a nose piece that you can bend. And you can change when it breaks, because with a lot of, I thought I brought two in, didn't bring two in, there it is. With a lot of, um, this one's half done. Uh, washing and wear, I think they're gonna wear out and your metal gets metal fatigue. So, the only problem with this 18 gauge wire is just so heavy that it makes your hands sore to sew it or to bend it after a while. Um, this is my origami mask. I don't have any more cut. What's wrong with me? Get out of the way. Uh, it's cut, here, it's cut into octagonal shapes. So the other side's just like this. I already did this side. And I love folding these. This is why I like this better than the pleats. Um, Cause you have to measure a whole bunch of those. <laughs> this one I just eyeball. Uh, it has to be perpendicular to the side. I should pick a color that has more contrast with the other colors and then pin it. I have pictures of this in the directions too. My directions have so many pictures, it was 30 megabytes. <laughs> oh, wow. So I did a PDF. I found out you can do a PDF and then it doesn't matter. Yeah. So you do that and you make this funny little folds and then you roll the ends up and you top stitch them. So what I like to do is get a whole bunch of them to this point and then do a bunch at the same time. I don't know why, it makes me feel good. <laughs> 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 to get to this spot right here. And then I make a whole chain of them, usually. Flatten that. Um, 
make sure if you have a casing of some sort, oops, ah, that you back, go back and forth a couple times and strengthen that because that's where all the tension is going to be on the strings mm. if you do it this way. Other people are sewing strings right here. There's, there's a lot of different ways. And Link doesn't care which one, they just want masks. Back and forth on each end. It always works better on the bottom than at the top getting started. That's part of the reason I do the chain because this one can be used to pull the next one through. Which makes sense to sewers, maybe nobody else. <laughs> Then you have a mask, and it's got a nose piece already, because I already, I'd usually do this afterwards. This stuff is really cool. It's just um, swimming suit material. Oh. So um, this is what they give you at Joann's, and it's just really neat. All right, so then to finish, it's not quite matching. If I had pink, I'd use pink, but I don't. <laughs> you guys can see it, sorry. I use my lap a lot. So this one's not cooperating, so I have to back it in until they hit. You can hear that. And then push this one out. So this guy follows. There. And you can do elastic too. I could put pink elastic in it, I guess. Didn't think about that. See, that one worked. You never know. This one's for my niece who likes mermaids. So it has fish scales. And then I like to tie these in a square knot, which you have to get it the right direction is the main thing, or else you have a granny knot, which won't stay. And then you get a cute little bow. And then you can wear it like a necklace and then put it on and off as needed 